The House of Representatives has mandated the Niger Center for Disease Control to set up a national response to the Omicron variant of the coronavirus. The motion on the need to take immediate action was moved by Honorable De Chong Bagas, who represents your South Just East Federal Constituency of Plateau State. Because of our population, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Colleagues, it's very important for us as Parliament to ensure that the executive activate response uh, to curtail the spread of Omicron in Nigeria, to be able to safeguard our people, and especially Nigerians that travel for businesses in and out, to give them guide, and at the same time to know how to conduct themselves when they come back into the country and even when traveling to other countries. And again, to still look at countries that already have the spread of this virus so that we should be able to know how we accommodate them into Nigeria what, uh, through whatsoever means to see that uh, they don't spread uh, this uh, variant into the country, which is very, very important for us to be safeguarded as a people. We increased the budget to the health sector by 72%. So Nigerians are asking, we are asking, how are these monies implemented and discharged at the bottom of the pyramid? How much percentage of that is going towards the fight against COVID-19? The federal government is starting from next week, I believe, saying that any civil servant that is not vaccinated will not be allowed to come to work. I know of mobile vaccine testing areas. In my area where I live in Jabi, they come out and Nigerians just do not show up to be vaccinated. We cannot continue like this, Mr. Speaker. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.